Oh, jeez. That was real sketchy. Yeah, that really surprised me. Like, I got little butterflies in my tummy. This is the most dangerous vehicle in the world, according to the U.S. government who banned it. So we bought one, and today we're gonna be putting it through a series of increasingly dangerous situations. Oh no! Oh my god. To find out how this thing put half a million people in the hospital. I don't I don't think this is a good idea. He's Nolan. I'm Jeremiah. Welcome to Donut. Oh my god! Holy since you're here, I should tell you about today's awesome sponsor, Omaze. Right now, thanks to Omaze, you have the chance to win this unplugged Tesla S Apex Plaid and support a great cause, the Juju Foundation. Now, it is the top of the line Tesla, and I mean the top, way up here. Am I out of frame? Because it's up there. This satin white beauty is the first ever Tesla to feature a cognac color vegan bamboo leather interior. It packs 1,020 electric ponies and launches from zero to 60 in 1.99 seconds, making it the fastest accelerating production vehicle ever. Ever! Oh my, get the f <laughs> and donations support the Juju Foundation, which is dedicated to the support of youth initiatives, including a children's music fund and providing bikes to underserved kids. So for your chance to win this unplugged Tesla S Apex Plaid, go to omaze.com slash Tesla Donut. Good luck. We gotta do one more. Dude, dude, that was awesome. Is it in gear? I'm just gonna dunk her. This is a Honda ATC 250R. This is the most powerful version that Honda made throughout the 80s. And if you know anything about three-wheelers, you know that they're dangerous. Holy sh This thing is terrifying. It has like no power, then it has like a bunch of power. I posted a single picture of this thing on my Instagram to tease this episode, and here's what you guys said about it. Boys, those are so sketch. Death machine. Wow, those things are real dangerous. Even the guy I bought it from had a story about getting hurt on this exact three-wheeler. I know I got a neck injury maybe from crashing this. And a bike came up, hit me in the chest, and that was like this. Yeah. I think that's where this where little kink there. In fact, at one point in time, three-wheelers were the biggest news story in America. Government experts say it is by far the most dangerous vehicle on the market today. So many people were getting injured or killed on these that it caught the attention of the U.S. government, who forced manufacturers to stop selling them. But what I want to know is, what is it about the design of this thing that made the government ban it? Well, I got a couple theories. So why don't we head off in the desert to go test them? First impressions, it's just hilarious how unstable it is at speed in a straight line. You saw that, right? He was coming at us and it was doing this. <laughs> And that brings us to our first test. Because of the high center of gravity and bad weight distribution, one of the most common ways people get hurt on these things is tipping them over when turning. These things obviously are known to tip over, so we're gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna come in between these cones right here and make a left-hand turn. How do you think this is gonna fare? The fact that you're a very experienced rider, don't think you're gonna have a problem necessarily, but I could see how a lot of kids would. If anything, I might ride it on two wheels off into the sunset if I want. So I'm gonna do the test first, then we're gonna put Nolan on. No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Now he has to ride on two wheels forever, lest he crash. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I might ride it on two wheels off into the sunset if I want. You barely turned the handles at all and it wanted to tip over. Like, at all these low speed tests, the bike already wants to flip over. There it goes again. Not a great design. Let's do it at high speeds okay. and see what the difference is. We're lucky Jerry is like really good at riding. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I'm stressed. At high speeds, it's not as bad, but it's definitely scarier. 
it didn't seem right that high speed turning would be more stable than low speed. So I tested out a few more low speed turns and the thing just wanted to tip me over. So do you think that test is as dangerous as people would say? With a little practice, you know what to predict with this thing. Not sure we've reached the point where I think it's ban worthy yet ban though. Okay, so we know this thing is unstable, but how unstable is it at top speed? For our next test, I'm going to see how fast this ATC will go, and then I'm gonna take that speed over uneven terrain to see if it's any more dangerous than a dirt bike or an ATV. All right, let's go! Okay, here it comes. Let's see here, it's not picking him up yet. 37, 37, 38. Thirty-eight miles an hour. That's nothing. I've ridden my bicycle faster than that. It's pretty smooth at speed. It's not bad. We're on a road, though. That's yeah, the yeah. problem. If we did that over there, where it's a lot lumpier, like that yeah. thing's gonna be bouncing all over the place. Let's go do that then. If you say so. Uh. <sighs> okay. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. That's 34. How's it feel over these whoops, Jerry? I mean, it's a little sketchy for sure. You know, these ruts are formed from four wheelers and dirt bikes, which create an even path. Huh? So if there's any deviation, that creates a ton of instability and uh, could pretty easily send you over. The U-turn was definitely more dangerous. Yeah. I don't really see why this should have been banned off that demonstration. No way, dude. The government is just freaking falling in to all these f who are just like keep filming Kanan keep filming let's crank up the danger and move on to the next demonstration another way people got hurt on these things was that they would put their leg down to prevent the three-wheeler from tipping over the problem is you got that big rear tire would drag your leg under it ripping you off your bike and potentially breaking your leg which is something that nobody wants unless you have a custom made ballistic gel leg complete with bones yeah man we got that thing made just for this test so we are going to put this ballistic gel leg to the test to see if this atc eats it up Look how it looked to me on camera. <laughs> in hindsight, we probably didn't go about this test in the most scientific way. You know, cause in real life, a femur, it's not going anywhere. It's held there by the rest of the rider's body. So the whole leg's under way more stress than it was when I just dropped it behind the wheel. But for good measure, I decided to take what was left of our melting ballistics gel leg and give it another shot. And then this happened. You could see the way the ankle, you know, pivots and kind of pinches yeah. away from the leg. Your body shouldn't move in that way. All right, again, Nolan, not the most scientific, but you know what? We're not done getting dangerous, Nolan. Let's go on to our next test. So we already know this thing has a side to side imbalance but it also has an imbalance front to rear. The majority of the weight is on the rear wheels. So when you're going up a hill, it has a tendency to flip over on itself, tumbling down the hill with you on it. We found the biggest, rockiest, steepest hill we can find. I've already walked up there, sussed it out. It's pretty gnarly. So the rollover potential is super duper high. We're ramping up the big boy stuff right here. So I've got on our new Donut High Vis t-shirt. You can get it right now at donutmedia.com. If you get lost in the desert, this is a shirt to have. After seeing the weight balance issues with this thing already and all the other issues present with this design, I think we're gonna see a broken bike by the end of this test. I'll be impressed if I can get it up there uh, without it falling back down. I'm gonna try my darndest. Oh! Wow, he's really going up that hill. Do 
Dude, that is so sketchy. Just pop the wheelie going uphill. Oh God. No! No! I wanted to try to show when you get into steep inclines, when you put power to it, it's gonna want to wheelie and fall backwards, right? <laughs> She wants to tip. But what happened is I was off camber and instead of it falling straight backwards, it tilted and rolled oh. like this. Especially out here where the rocks are so sharp, like imagine being under that. Not, no bueno. Okay. So what do you think on a dangerous scale? What would this potentially be? That's like a nine out of 10 for me. On to the next test. For our final test, we're gonna get this thing airborne, baby. Up to this point, we've talked about how much imbalance is engineered into this three-wheeler. And where you want balance the most is when you're flying through the air off a jump. We're actually gonna be recreating a test. This was played on 60 Minutes okay. to display to people how dangerous these things really are. Uh, okay. okay. See a guy? Yeah. Uh, that. That's a little baby little that's jump. That's a little baby jump. Oh, but uh, stepping forward. Oh, uh, no. Uh, Oh <laughs> no! Oh my God, it's gonna crash on him. Dude. Oh, that's why they have that pad right there. Boop! Dude, imagine being that Dude, guy. No, thank you. He willingly did that. <laughs> that's like me right now. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Oh, I got a neck injury, maybe from crashing this. Yeah. So we have a hill about the same size. So who knows what's gonna happen? I'm, I'm gonna try to come out of this berm and hit this as fast as I can. If I break my collarbone on this yeah. little freaking hill, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay. Here he comes. A little wheelie at the start. Oh, that is bouncing. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, even in the air, it like rotated and then he had to land on that back wheel and then it came down. That was pretty f***ing sketchy, dude. That was real <laughs> sketchy. Yeah, that really surprised me. Like I got little butterflies in my tummy. We were lopsided in the air and the front wheel was kind of turned. Not very much, but enough to like get your attention. Anytime the machine does something different than what you expect, it's always a little bit of a surprise. That was enough for me. I was like, that is, that's so sketchy. And that's you riding it. I could see how someone could get into real big trouble who's never jumped anything before. Absolutely. This thing is way, way sketchier, sketchier than a dirt bike. Yeah. Follow Nolan at Nolan J. Sykes. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. Follow us at Donut at Donut Media. Until next time, bye for now.